I got a product sent to me in the mail and it happens to be Bondo. Now, I'm a firm believer that Bondo is Bondo. Now there is cheap brands and there is very expensive brands, but if you use the right brand, you're gonna be okay. Let's get into this video and let's check this product out. It's a brand new product that just hit the market. It's made by a company called Evercoat and the product we're talking about is optics. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Now if we take a close look here, you're going to see that this is the Bondo I use. I've been using this Bondo right here, Dynatron Dynalite, lightweight filler. I've been using that for 38 years. I've never had a problem with it. Works very well. You can see behind me right here, or should I say behind the can in front of me, that I am doing body work now to a 1965, is that what that is back there, 65 GTO. And we're doing all the body work. You can see this is the Bondo that I use. I've used it vigorously. I buy it by the case, which comes four to a case. And this Bondo right here, one gallon, if you find the right place, you can purchase this Bondo right here for $13.75 to $15.50 a gallon. So about a week ago, I get a package in the mail that contains this court right here that says Evercoat Rage Optics. Didn't really pay much attention to it because uh, as far as Evercoat to me goes, Evercoat is an expensive, high-end type of a Bondo that is usually used in high-end, uh, expensive, we're going to paint your car for $35,000 shops. Um, and when I say that, usually Evercoat Bondo costs 10, well I wouldn't say 10, let's not say 10, let's say 3 to 5 times more than what you, you, you just saw back here, which is Dynalite. So I'm not a real big fan of Evercoat products. The only thing that I like to use made by Evercoat, which I actually don't use it anymore, is their polyester putty, because there's aftermarket brands that make the exact same thing. Now, this is my theory on Bondo. I believe that this Bondo is possibly made in the same factory this Bondo's made in, Except this one has a few more additives that this one doesn't have, which you can take your polyester filler and add to the Dynalite Bondo, and it basically becomes creamy smooth, sands with ease, fills small, minute pinholes perfectly, and works great just by adding this to your Dynalite Bondo. I have mastered the performance of using that. If we look right here underneath this board, I have actually added uh, polyester Evercoat brand. No, I'm sorry, I got Evercoat on my mind. I've used the polyester filler, mixed it with my Bondo on these little imperfections right here, these little door dings that you're looking at. Um, I also have used the Bondo, which is raw Dynaglass in this area right here, and you can see it lays down very smooth. What do we got over here? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Is your name Skippy? Is your name? What's your name? Skippy? Skippy? Or Telsey? It's my little helper right there. He's going to be a good helper. And when he gets older, he's going to be my friend Pete's new swamper. Ain't that right, bud? You keep on eating, buddy. Keep on eating. And that's my beautiful little grandbaby, Telzy. Uh, we just happened to have him for the week. Is he a handful or what? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, soldier boy. Soldier boy. Where are you going? Come on back up. I need your help. Hey, we're not done working yet. Hello. Get on over here. You little fart. Okay, back to our extensive review that we had going on here. So, anyway, I got this in the mail, and I said, you know, I'm not really a fan of Evercoat. And why are they sending this to me? Well, I'm going to tell you why they're sending it to me, because this is a brand new Dummy Proof. You heard me say it, Dummy Proof. I'm going to say it one more time. Dummy Proof Bondo. Now, what do I mean by that? If you read the label, it says green means go. And what this actually does, 
is it changes colors as it is drying. And when the color changes from pink to green, you're ready to sand your Bondo. It's dummy proof. It's beginner proof. But you know what? I got Optics Rage Evercoat Bondo that changes colors and now tells me when it's time to sand and do what I need to do to use Bondo such as this. So before we try it out, I just want to say that anybody that has any common sense knows that Bondo is basically an epoxy. And when I say an epoxy, that means that it requires a hardener. And you don't sand it or you don't use it until it is actually hard, which means you have to let it dry. If you sand it when it's wet, it is just going to peel off and it's not going to work. I don't know how much more dummy proof that the world really has to get to use Bondo. Um, does it take a dummy or somebody smart and educated to say, it's still wet, it's on my hands when I touched it, should I sand it? It's still wet, uh, it's tacky and making my fingers tacky, can I sand it now? It's been 20 minutes and it's hard as a rock, I think I can sand it. What we have here is a late model hood, uh, it was wrecked up in the front, this is trash. I tried to tell everybody that um, before you work on your own car, you should go to a body shop and ask them if you can have some car panels so you can test on them and practice and, and do what you need to do. And then once you figure out what's going on, work on your own car. So if you can get a hold of some hoods like this, do it. It's worth it. And if you are a self learner or a DIYer and you're trying to do all this at home, you definitely want to try to get some old body parts and start practicing because practice makes perfect. So with all that said, let's go ahead. I'm going to take my hammer and I am going to go ahead and scratch it right here. Okay, so we got that line. And the reason that line is there is because on this side we are going to use our Optics Rage color changing Bondo and on this side we're going to use our Dynaglass. And all I want to do is just put some dance in it, just like that. All right, we got all of our surfaces ready for Bondo. Uh, we got our Optex here, we got our Dynaglide here. Um, if we can get a volunteer, come on over here, nitpick Norm. Have you ever mixed Bondo before? Don't lie, if you don't know how to do it, I can do it myself. The reason I want you to help me is because I want to mix the bottle up exactly at the same time and I want to spread it on the dance at exactly the same time because this is a test to see is this stuff really worth it or is it a waste of time. Now before we go any further let me tell you what this is. This is color changing Bondo. Ooh. It's Bondo dummy Bondo for dummies. Um, when it turns green it means it's ready to go. Uh, and I want to see if this actually dries faster and is easier to work than using the good old fashioned Dynalite Dynatron Bondo that I've used for 38 years. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and I see that the Bondo is pink. Can you see that? Beautiful. Alright, hold on now. And if we open this one up, we'll go ahead and leave that. We're going to show this Bondo is white. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get two sticks of Bondo for you. That's one, two. Okay, that's a good amount right there. Let's go ahead and get three because we want to put it on pretty thick. Sometimes, you know, you got a big dents to fix, you know what I'm saying? That's way more than we need. Okay, to hold it, please, sir, please. Okay, all right, so there's your Bondo. Um, now I'm going to get mine and I want to match it to yours. So let's see, that's okay, don't worry about that, sir. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this Bondo here now, uh, a little bit more, okay, maybe a little bit more. Does that look about the same? Uh, yeah, probably This one here so. might have a little more. Okay, if we spread it out, is it about the same? About the same. Yes. Okay, so there's our Bondo. Now what we're going to do is if we can put the lids on these so they don't spill over. So I'm going to put one line on yours. 
I'm going to take mine and put one line on mine. That looks about the same. Go ahead and start mixing, please. There you go. Mix it up where it's one solid color. Okay. Are you ready, sir? Is yours mixed? As far as I can tell. Uh, I saw so some blue I saw streaks. Blue. I saw blue. Okay, keep going. It's going to start hardening. Well, you didn't okay. Hardening. Can you grab your Bondo? There you go. Can I help you out, please? Pete, I got it. Man. Okay, you got streaks. I'm already ready to go yeah, here. You gave me the shitty. Board okay, well, let's go time. ahead and get it done. Thank you. You gave me the shitty board with all okay, the Okay, are you ready to go? Here yeah, we go. I'm, I'm going to get my Bondo, and I'm going to spread it over my dent. This shit is like water. Okay, well, so you're... Are, okay, Norm, can you get over there, please? You're in the... There you go. Is that what you want, Pete? All right. Put it on your dent. I'm going to put mine on mine. Okay, hurry up. It's already drying. Mine's not. Okay, well, you don't know that. I do know it, because I don't... Okay, so there's mine right there. Um, I got some extra Bondo here. I'm going to go ahead and spread it out on my palette. Norm can hurry up. I'm done, Pete. No, you're not. You want more? Yeah, let me see it, please. Can I see it? Okay, you don't really have as much as I have, so we'll go ahead and get some more. And we'll go ahead and do this. There we go. Okay. Now it kind of looks exactly the same, see? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit here. And we're going to let these dry, and uh, hopefully this will all work out. Hopefully. Throw that board away. Why? It's got all kinds of lumps and crap in it. Okay, it'll be fine. Don't worry about my board, sir. Okay. I'm the Bondo guy here. I know what I'm doing. This changed colors, so that means this is ready for sanding. All right. Do you see the difference here? Do I see it? Okay. Yeah. Somebody that has a brain can actually use this bondo because all they have to think about is, okay, I got bondo on that. I'm going to walk away for about 20 or 30 minutes, and I'll come back and sand it. And then the dummy that doesn't know his head from his ass can come over and say. Okay, I'm going to sit here and watch it until it turns green and all the pink's gone, and when that's done, I know I can send it. Duh! Let's go ahead and just get done with this little episode here, bud. What do you think? What's your opinion? How much, what's the difference in price between this Okay, and that? I don't know what the price is on that, because this is new on the market. I'm speculating that that quart probably costs double of what this gallon costs. Think so? Yes. Well, you can always go online and look it up. I already did go online. It's not out yet. They're gonna, they're supposed to uh, unveil it at the SEMA show on October 30th. Today's the 28th, Norm. Now I'm gonna ask your opinion again. Do you think that the dummy-proof Bondo, let's say $30 a quart, is worth the $13 to $15 gallon of Dynalite? No. Yes or no? No. I okay. Mean, unless I'm. If you're a dummy. Is this a dummy situation here? Is this if, dummy if proof? If you're a dummy, there is no such thing as dummy proof. You forget the ingenuity of dummies. That's what I'm trying to say. This is dummy shit going on here, okay? D U M M Y. Okay, come on, dude. Alright, do you know any dummies that would actually take this and use it? Give me a break, okay? I don't know, Pete. It's a dummy situation, okay? Bondo is dummy proof. Look at that. This is already getting hard, Norm. All right, this took twice as long to dry, and this is almost dry. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to put smart here, 
smart guy, S M A R T guy. Smarty pants. Okay, there's smart guy Bondo, and this is dummy guy Bondo. Da 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 da. So it changes colors. And I'm telling you, Pete, I've seen a Bondo before that does this. And so this is not anything brand new. Is it worth buying the Bondo, Norm? I don't Yes or no? No, not for Thank you very much, nitpick Norm. Not for triple the cost. It's junk, okay? I'm speculating that you can get that cord for about 20 bucks. That's my price I'm putting it on. I don't know how much this says patent pending. Um, green goes means go. Okay, it's green. It took 25 minutes to turn green. My Bondo is ready. Look at this. That took less than five minutes. It's done. It's ready to sand. Go down the road. Do what you got to do. And get the shit that really works. Oh, okay. So you want to try I wanna that? See, I want to see it. Well, it cuts. Oh, so you want to try to use that now? I want to try and see if it cuts. Yeah, let's put it on this one. Well, this is going to cut because it's a, lot, it's a lot newer. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's the way it's look, look to how it's cut. If I would have got on this okay. one 10 minutes sooner, it would have cut too. I don't give a shit what you say, Norm. The situation is nitpick. This is for dummies. This is for smart guys. Figure out which guy you are and you'll come out of here. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm a smart guy. You know why, Pete? What? I don't do this. <laughs> That's man smart, definitely. So, what's my conclusion to the Evercoat optics change the color Bondo situation? No, I would not get it. I do not want it. If somebody wants this, send me your address. I'll pack it up and send it to you. You can have it. Pay for the shipping. I'll give it to you for free. That'll save you 20 bucks on the shit. I must have something that I missed because both seem to have the exact same ingredients. I've read them. I don't care what you're saying, Norm. There's something in this one that's different. It's kind of obvious. We mixed it together. We put the same hardener in it, sir. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, over here at Dummy School. I mean, DIY Auto School. Trying to be smart, guy. And hopefully, taking the dummy out of you. watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.